我都这样了，你还想着生米煮熟饭？你禽兽啊！Feels good about abusing his wife. My wife becomes soft-hearted when she is hurt. It turns out that Han Shu wanted to take revenge on Chan Chan, want her to be his slave. Chan Chan was forced to serve her husband and serve him tea. Han Shu deliberately got close to Chu Chu to make her angry. Chu Chu thought that the couple had reconciled and divorced. Should live separately. I want Chan Chan to move to my eldest sister's house. Han Shuo pretended to agree despite Chan Chan's objections. He also said she was just a plaything. It's the same wherever you put it. Chu Chu is very happy. I thought he had completely given up on his third sister. Han Shuo deliberately held her hand to express his feelings. Chan Chan got jealous and ran out in anger. Han Shuo immediately let go of Chu Chu's hand. The two have returned to a relationship of using each other. In the end, they broke up unhappy. Chan Chan returned to the room and was still jealous. 男人就是靠不住，变心变得这么快，好难受。当初我给他熊熊的时候，肯定比我还难过。嗯，讨厌。Baiji asked him to help Xiao Jun change his clothes. On the surface, she was willing to swallow her anger and become a maid. Behind the scenes, he makes various small moves to take revenge on his husband. Han Shuo was still complacent that he finally had a wife to take care of him. Unexpectedly, he was strangled with a belt and was uncomfortable first. I want to drink tea, but it burns my mouth. How are you so cold? Cold? Sorry. Chen Chen Chen, you're probably because of me. No way. How can you? Shao Jun is so powerful. The Gong Zhang of Hua Yuan Chen has taken the mother every day, and has taken the mother every day. I'm this little girl, but I'm still holding on to Shao Jun's hand. 陈芊芊，你知道就好了。你就算是死，也得死在我手里。你休想踏出岳离府一步。把我的衣服熨烫好了，有一点褶皱，你今晚就别想睡了。原谅我这家伙这件事，但从古至今从未变过。啊，我的老公。Pei Hang heard that Han Shuo had been enslaving and torturing Chan Chan. So I ran to find him again to settle the score. However, Han Shuo didn't take him seriously at all. Laughing at him for not having a single soldier. Don't talk about protecting others. Can't even protect myself. I just learned that Chan Chan burned her hand. He obviously refused to admit that he cared. But I still rushed to check it out. The moment he rushed into the room and lifted the quilt. Chan Chan misunderstood aggrievedly that he wanted to do something evil. I'm so tired. You're still thinking about making soup. You're a beast. Why didn't you tell me? Shu Shu, why didn't you tell me? Pei Hang is the one who knows. What do you mean? You don't care. Even if it's not me, I don't care. Are you okay? 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 我让子睿过来守夜。我拜拜我。Although Han Shuo stayed with her, but I still haven't forgiven Chan Chan. He occupied the whole bed by himself. Instead, he let her sleep on the floor. 地板真的很硬。硬点对腰好。今天的月亮跟你第一次在我房间流苏的时候一样圆。对不起啊，我骗了你。你一定很难过，对不对？如果你也是在骗我就好了。The next day, Han Shuo woke up and found Chan Chan pressing on him. He wanted to get up secretly, but he was hugged directly by Chan Chan in his sleep. 回来了，你怎么知道我有多想你的？A night. The two reconciled as before. Han Shuo helped him treat his wounds thoughtfully. I plan to wait until the matter in Huayuan City is over. Then he took him back to Xuanhu City. Chan Chan then asked him to let his mother go. Give up the plan to capture Huayuan. But Han Shuo disagrees. Worried that this is her honey trap. 
The two had a dispute over this. Han Shua cares about his mother, feel dissatisfied with being better than oneself. So like a little daughter-in-law, asked an unanswerable question. In the end, Han Shua threatened the city lord with his life. Chan Chan is not allowed to step out of the room. In order to rescue Chan Chan, Pei Heng stole Chu Chu's flower charm. Calling on the city guard in the name of Mother Pei Si Juan. Swear to the death to be loyal to the city lord. The next day he led his troops to rescue Chan Chan. Chu Chu wrote the abdication letter in advance. Forced mother to take out the city lord's seal and stamp it. He even caught San Chi and threatened him. At this time, Su Ying came to report Han Shuo's betrayal. It was because he had no intention of cooperating in the first place. The city lord cursed Chu Chu as a fool who led the wolf into the house. Only Chan Chan can subdue Han Shuo. Now the success falls short. My sincere feelings paid to the wrong person. She couldn't get angry and fought with Han Shuo directly. But he is not Han Shuo's opponent. After a few rounds, he was knocked to the ground by the opponent. If Su Ying hadn't drawn a knife to resist, I'm afraid she's already dead. Just when Han Shuo picked off Su Ying's sword, when preparing to kill, Chan Chan and Pei Heng led the city defense army to arrive. Stop Han Shuo and Chu Chu who surrounded the rebellion. Han Shuo is very disappointed with Chan Chan. She finally chose her mother. But in Chan Chan's view, her affection for Han Shuo, it does not conflict with protecting the people of Huayuan. Soon Mengua also led the bandits to capture the city gate. This time Xuan Hu Chengjun completely failed. Baiji urged Xiao Jun to evacuate quickly. But Han Shuo still wants to take away his wife. Chu Chu suddenly attacks Chen Qian. Han Shuo immediately held up his sword to protect him. The two again drew their swords and fought against each other. Han Shuo wanted to take Chan Qian away after stabbing Chu Chu. At this time the city lord came forward. Ordered to capture Han Shuo and Chu Chu. Han Shuo also surrendered under Chan Qian's persuasion. Pei Heng found the city lord in private. Pleading for mercy for his biological sister Chu Chu. The city lord promised to spare Chu Chu. Put all the blame on Han Shuo and prepare to kill him. Unexpectedly, in the end, he forced the woman he loved most to death. 